What's up guys, it's Rick Stevenson. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how I made this beat right here. And it is sampled, so I'm not gonna give you guys a sample. It's just, gonna, it's just something that producers do. So anyways, let's get right into this sample and how I chopped it up and everything. All right. So first, um, I am using FO Studio and um, I am using the plugin called SliceX. This is very good for sampling based and all that good stuff. So. What I did was, of course, I pulled my sample up. I um, searched through the sample, see what was good, you know, what was the juicy part. So I'm gonna play. All right, so that's what I got out of that sample. Um, so what I did was basically I just chopped it up all by bass, bass drum, and um, and snare hits. So my um, chop that I came up was. like that. That was the um, main, that was the chorus that um, was it for the chorus and then um, for the verse. So it goes. So after all, um, after finding my um, chops and samples, all that, I found that this sample was a bit too fast, so I ended up um, just recording it as it is around like 93 or 90, yeah, 93 BPM, that's what this is, and um, then I um, made the whole track as this, just with the samples, just with um, um, chorus and verses, then um, I exported that out as a wave then put it back in here and um, found a good tempo for it and then I um, made the introduction the you know little chop part um, changed the pitch so it'll actually be in key so I can add a nice bass line to it and um, this is what I got for um, the regular sample <laughs> This is what I got for the verse. So after that, I thought that was pretty dope. Um, first, I don't know why I started off with my hat, hi hats on this one, but um, here is my hi hats. <laughs> my hi-hat it went something like that then I wanted something really like you know old type of hip-hop type of Kanye sound um, but uh, one thing that uh, I don't do with Kanye whatever I just don't pitch the samples up up high I just pitch them down I like when they pitch down then I got the hi-hats for the burst Next, I picked out some drums, and um, that's what I got for my drums. I was going to use this one, but it's just too bassy in a drum area and a low end, so I decided just to use this one. And for my chorus, I got this drum pattern. Verses I got this, so it goes right with the dun 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 dun. dun. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I should add that in it. Just there we go. So next, what I had to do was probably the most um, annoying and tedious. Um, tedious process of this whole um, project was finding the bass line. The bass line is probably the hardest thing to do for sample beats because you have to make sure that your sample is pitched correctly and you have to make sure that everything is on key because 
Um, some stuff may may not be on key, but that's your job to try to make it fit, and you gotta pitch and stuff. So one part one part about being a producer. So for this sample, I went through like probably like I went a lot of notes, and I learned it by ear. So the main main for the chorus is. that but yeah and then um for the um verse and for this um i just used a regular fl studio bass i just um turned the bass all the way up the mids down and the treble down to get a nice sub so um after all the whole thing sound like I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to make more beat tutorial videos put it down in the um, comment area and I will look at them and I will be more than happy to make more of these here's a full beat thank you Rick Stevenson.